So I just had to pull over because I heard on the radio that Israel Folau has been banned for life for quoting from the Bible. Now, rugby is a disgrace. They allow players to, you know, punch someone in the face. Oh, give them six weeks. Take drugs. <laughs> boys will be boys. Quote from the greatest selling book of all time. <gasps> That's beyond the pale. Oh, got to get rid of him. He's a bad influence. But, you know, I guess that's what happens when you have corporations controlling sport. Qantas doesn't want him there. He's gone. But you know what's extra insidious? Is that Qantas, who can't handle one player, just one, not approving of their views on homosexuality, takes money from a government who bans homosexuality, who throws gay people in prison. Qantas takes money, has a corporate arrangement with Emirates, the airline owned by the United Arab Emirates government, a government which criminalizes homosexuality. So you have a corporation led by Alan Joyce, Qantas, furious that one player in a sport they sponsor is anti-gay, yet will take the big dollars from a nation actually persecuting gay people. What a disgrace. Qantas is scum. And rugby is a spineless, insipid entity. Israel, you're a fucking hero.